Hey guys, Chris here with Big Cobra Gaming. Today, I'm gonna do a reaction video to one of my favorite YouTubers, Harris Heller, AKA Alpha Gaming. I love this guy, love his content, watch it all the time. Every time he's putting out content, I'm the first one watching it. As a videographer, content creator, and a gamer, I know how important gear can be and I know how much of a factor it is in everyday use cases and making sure every piece of gear you get is gear that you need, which is a really important consideration to have because sometimes you just wanna buy gear to buy gear. And I follow a lot of YouTubers for a lot of years, guys like Peter McKinnon and other kind of YouTube style content creators and everyone always has to have an opinion on this subject of what gear is needed, does gear even matter, is the content more important than the gear? I love Harris. I've watched this video one time before. I'm going to go through it again. And, and I really, really like his view on things traditionally. I think he's got a great grasp on what's important, especially in the YouTube community, as well as content creation. I'm just going to go through this and see how I feel. Let's roll through it. Question. Does gear matter? It depends. <laughs> Obviously. I love the coy, maybe, maybe not intro to this. Well played, Mr. Heller. The debate about whether or not gear matters has been going on for centuries. Some still say that to this day, we have not found a real answer. See, I don't like this. I don't like this voice. I don't like this bit he's doing. Kind of weird, kind of making me uncomfortable, but I think I'll get over it. I'll get over it. Many still scour the ancient texts of Twitter searching for clues. But for real, this debate pops up here and there. It popped up again this week on Twitter when someone posted a little bit of a mocking tweet. We got here, powers on a $1,000 camera with $500 lens, 45, 450 interface, $400 microphone, $300, starts OBS, gear doesn't matter. Yeah, no, it's it's kind of crazy. You know, once you take your, um, once you take your productions very seriously, it's very easy to get caught up with buying gear, but, um, once you start getting nice things, you want more nice things. And once you realize the power of that some equipment can do, you're like, all right, what else can I improve? Well, how can I make my process better? I'm sure he's gonna get into it. Aimed at content creators like myself, who uh, who use high-end gear and then go on to say that gear doesn't matter. And the tweet just so happened to be from someone who follows me and also went up the exact same day as I posted a video with this. Your setup doesn't matter. I respect that answer. Tell me more. Bro, you you can at me. It's fine. I'm I'm not gonna argue with you on Twitter. What's unfortunate is that a lot of people let's back it up for a hot second. What's good with Ludwig's hair Ludwig's hair and my hair? It's like kinda similar. I don't know, I think I'll wear it a little bit better. Setup doesn't matter. I respect that answer. Tell me more. Bro, you, you can at me. It's fine. I'm, I'm not going to argue with you on Twitter. What's unfortunate is that a lot of people like to align with blanket statements like that. The entire argument on Twitter kind of devolved into the black and white, uh, yes, gear does matter or no gear doesn't matter, when really the answer is obviously much more nuanced than that. Like, you can't just take that small clip that I just shared and ignore the statements that came after it. It's harder to make a, a good YouTube channel. Gear does matter, but at the end of the day, it's about how you use it what you use what's available to you channel with with crappy that didn't make any sense here you can still do it with your phone but like the bar is just yeah. so high on youtube and you can't ignore the context of the entire video and who it was aimed at which in this one was particularly small creators small streamers who wanted to become big streamers that's a super important point so today i would like to put this argument to rest i want you to know by the end of this video Makes a great point. You really gotta understand context when it comes to these things because gear for different situations call for different things. Out on a vlog on the street, you only need a camera and a monopod or a tripod, but then when you're got your gaming rig, it has different needs and necessities. So he's definitely this is one of Harris's strong points is he really gets into building context for his viewers to make sure they understand what's going on before and after every video you watch. And he's actually very good at this and it helps keep him very informative and straightforward yo if buying gear should matter to you and if not why do i bother doing gear reviews then to sum up this entire video if you have adhd and don't want to watch this whole thing sum it up in a single sentence uh, if you are a small creator which are the majority of people who watch my videos gear is one of the worst things you can invest your money in and i stand by that i stand by it so hard 90 
and he's not wrong either. I mean, me personally, in my experience, if I didn't, if I wasn't already a videographer and I had access to gear, an editing PC, multiple camera bodies, a couple of lights, then I don't know where I'd be because I'm already predisposed to having these things. So the call, my startup cost is already taken care of in my videography business. So I double dip in that way. I am a frugal buyer, but, and a smart buyer, but at the end of the day, I've never really had to rely on that since a couple of years ago when I was making a very, very, very little money and I was buying a thousand dollar camera paying off a hundred dollars a month. But he's very, very right. 99% of streamers are either making nothing or next to nothing on Twitch. And I'm serious, by the way, I verified this. I scrolled down the Fortnite section, found someone with nine viewers and looked up their stats. They had uh, apparently an average of 18 viewers and that put them in the top 1% of Twitch streamers. Nine yeah, that just goes to show you how useless Twitch really is because it does not make me want to <laughs> stream knowing if I have 18 viewers in the top 1%. That's ridiculous. 99% of Twitch streamers have fewer than 15 viewers and likely, very likely, don't make the Twitch payout threshold every single month. And I promise you, the thing holding you back from breaking that 15 viewer ceiling and actually making money on Twitch is not your gear. And I'm proof of that, by the way. When I first started streaming on Twitch, I'd been a full-time YouTuber and musician for like three years, and I already had a ton of gear. I started streaming with this, I think it's like a $5,000 camera setup, a full-frame DSLR, as well as a two- That's a freaking excellent camera, but not the go-to camera I would go to as a webcam for streaming, or even as a B-roll camera. It's just way overkill. It's a Canon 5D Mark IV with I'm assuming a 24 to 70 or a 16 to 35, I couldn't see from there, but it's an amazing camera. It's a flagship camera for the Canon line, and I love the Canon line. I have many Canon cameras, but for anybody, even someone that makes million, you know, millions on freaking YouTube videos, it's still overkill, and there's still better budget options you can get if you even wanted to go full frame, or if you just want to go with a regular webcam, you can still do it in a better way thousand dollar studio mic and i streamed for less than 10 people for years check it out here are my stats this month like three years ago i streamed for 80 hours for eight people but since then and since my channel has grown quite a bit i have changed things i've upgraded things i've bought gear i obviously believe that gear has its place so when do you spend money on gear how do you know it's the right time this is super important sam Get ready to draw some graphs. The amount you spend on your gear and the amount of viewers you have are not directly proportional. Meaning, it's not like for every $20 you spend on gear, you get one more viewer on Twitch. Doesn't work that way. Gear is more of a matter of thresholds, meaning a minimum threshold, which is basically just what's required, and then an upper threshold, which is your ceiling. There is a minimum threshold of gear that is usually necessary for people to give you a chance. And this minimum threshold changes depending on what platform you're making content on and what kind of content you're making. So in this sake, to make it easy, let's say you're streaming on Twitch and you're making gaming content. People generally consume this kind of content for two different reasons, and we're obviously simplifying this so this video isn't an hour long but people want to watch gameplay of their favorite game and people want to engage and interact with their favorite streamer typically that means you need a microphone that sounds a little bit better than an airplane intercom someone telling you where the exits are if you remember what that sounds like at this point in 2021 and you need a semi-decent camera any phone built in the just gotta say while i'm thinking about it like i said i watch a lot of harris's youtube videos my guy wears this hurley deep ass v-neck once a month in a video i'm not knocking the guy especially because i had the same exact hurley shirt in that color and in the maroon version but harris my dude listen i'll send you some gear or something you need to switch up the repertoire a little bit pal in the last five years has a camera much higher than that minimum threshold. That is your lower threshold or your bare minimum requirement to start growing. As you pick up more gear, your ceiling increases, meaning as you reach more people, as your audience grows, people have different standards of what they want to watch and what they consider entertaining. And you now have a potential appeal to a larger audience. It's like buying a larger fish tank. You don't suddenly have more fish because you bought a larger tank, but you can eventually fit more fish in there. You just gotta go out and find them first. Which is why you should upgrade your gear as your channel grows. If you have 10 viewers, but your upper- 
Yeah, I mean, I couldn't agree more. This is probably the best way to go about it because to shell out, I mean, me, I personally have a couple of thousands of dollars sitting on my desk right now. And it's like, if you're going to start streaming and or gaming or doing anything in a computer related industry, I would take it baby steps at a time. Definitely don't go out and spend five grand on everything all at once. Um, it's just a lot of money. And Harris is going to keep going into this, but there's a good chance you're gonna get no return ever on it. Right now I have 60 subscribers on YouTube, so I'm not rolling in it at all right now. To be able to just create content is a blessing at such a high level is also, I'm just thankful for it. But you know, I take pride in my production quality that I put into my content. The content is still king over everything else that you do. Her ceiling is 200 viewers, which by the way, is a perfectly reasonable upper ceiling for someone with just an entry level stream setup. Spending your money on gear will be the same thing as burning it. This is why you see a lot of 10 viewer streamers with thousands of dollars worth of gear. Gear is important, but it will not help you grow. So why do I do gear reviews at all? And then in the same sentence, say that gear doesn't matter. Because most of you are grown adults with jobs and most of you are going to buy some occasional gear anyway. And buying gear is fun for your hobbies. There's nothing wrong with that. So I mean, I love buying gear. I mean, I find reasons to buy gear, justify it in any way, shape or form if I can, because it's fun and I like gear. So if I do a video on why this $400 lens is gonna work better for your stream setup than this $2,000 lens, I didn't just encourage you to spend $400. As far as I'm concerned, I saved you or helped you save $1,600. You're a grown up. You can spend your money on whatever you want. I'm not your mom. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you what's good and bad so you can spend your money properly. However, I'm well aware that when I recommend a product, thousands of small streamers will go out and buy it and not a single one of them will Will actually see an increase in viewers due to buying that product. I don't believe it is my responsibility as a YouTuber on this tiny screen on your phone or on your computer to tell you how to spend your money because it isn't. However, I am well aware that I do have an influence over what you guys do spend your money on and that is a lot of responsibility. I can't go on camera and say, you should buy this lens for $400 and feel good with my integrity at the end of the day if I leave it at that. I have to walk the fine line of giving unbiased reviews for the people who do have money while also being the voice of reason to the small streamers who don't have a lot of money and remind them that this gear that they might wanna buy won't help turn their dreams into a reality. Only hard work and creativity will do that. And you know, he makes these videos because he loves gear. He wants to inform the general public about it and sometimes he's, he's given the gear, sponsored by the gear, whatever. One, you should know your limitations. Two, you should know your budget for what you can spend for gear. Three, you gotta make sure whatever gear you buy, it's gear that you need. And sometimes it's not very clear the gear that you need. It's not very clear if you need gear at all. In my experience, if you find yourself flip-flopping on gear, should I or should I not? If it's not a very clear and apparent that you need the gear, there's a good chance you don't need it, unfortunately. By the way, just to prove that, I shot and recorded this entire thing on my phone. You Happy streaming, guys. Sneaky dog, Harris. You sneaky oh, dog. He <laughs> really, at the end of the day, I love hearing people's opinions on where gear stands in their production process and for me it uh, it really ranks pretty high probably higher than it should and i think the more content i make and the more videos i produce i think the more that's going to be apparent do your homework make sure you understand parts make sure you understand pc components what you need what you don't need make sure you understand monitors what you need what you don't need make sure you understand peripherals what you need and what you don't need because no one's going to teach it to you. Harris, people like Harris will do their best to educate and make sure you have the best understanding possible in that moment, but they can't give you the broad spectrum or give you an answer laid up on a platter for you. So, you know, use better judgment. Like he said, we're all adults here and make sure you just make informed decisions. And honestly, every purchase isn't going to be perfect. And some purchases aren't going to be even what you expect them to be. And you think that might be the answer and they're not. And it's going to happen time and time again. So, you know, at the end of the day, just make sure you, you're spending in your means and you go on in your means to make to be able to make the content you need to make. And that's all for me today, guys. Go down in the comments, check out my, my YouTube page, make sure you catch me on Twitch, catch me on some live streams, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, throw a like on this video, give me a subscribe, catch you next week on the next one.